So in the fifth chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna speaks about detachment. He says it very clearly. What is called detachment is actually yoga. Because you can't be detached without being attached. In connection with the Supreme, then you can be detached. And if, conversely, if you don't have that connection with the Supreme, there's no question of detachment. This idea of renunciation is false. For those that aren't attached to the Supreme, it's false. It's, it's born of frustration, it's, but it's not sustainable. Knowledge of the, the temporary nature of things or knowledge of the misery producing nature of things when you get attached is not sufficient. In, in Vedic text, this couplet, Jnana Vairagya, appears again and again, especially in the Shruti mantras. Jnana Vairagya, like two peas in the same pot. Not even dominoes, it's just they're, they're practically synonymous. Where there's jnana, there's vairagya. Because what, what does that jnana teach you? It teaches you that there's no shelter in that which is temporary. It's like there's no substance in a mirror. There's no water in a desert. It may look like water, but it, there's, by definition, a desert is where there's no water. There's no water in a desert. And in a reflection, here's a mirror, here's a nice plate of prasadam. Go ahead, <laughs> have a feast. <laughs> There's no substance in that reflection, in the mirror. In fact, just turn the angle of the mirror slightly, and there's no reflection at all. Even the reflection went away. It's all very circumstantial and, and insubstantial. Those that have knowledge of such things, there's detachment. But, still, the tendency to want to enjoy is so strong, and so unless there's an actual shelter-taking position of enjoyment, you go back to the reflection, or to the mirage, or pursuing happiness where there's no happiness, where it's all temporary. Whatever it is that you have, 